Hello, welcome to Excel Fundamentals. Today we're going to learn how to remove error messages in Excel instantly. So let's hop over to our data set. Here I've got um, my fictional business. We've got a list of products here, the product names, and what price we sold them for, and how many units of the product we sold. And let's just say this is a retail store, one, one day's worth of sales at a retail store. So now I want to know what were my total revenues for this day. So up here, I will create a column called sales. And to know what I sold, what my sales dollars were, I'll have to do the price that it sold at times the number of units that sold. And so these were my sales on product A. And by double clicking this down here, this formula should copy all the way down. And then in the end, I want to create a total. So what were my total sales for the whole day? So I will do a sum of all of this information and hit enter. So you can clearly see what the issue is. We've got error messages. Here we've got an error message. Here we've got an error message. And here we've got an error message. And it, when you look at it, it looks like the error message is there because this is not a real number. Right? This is not a number. You, you would also get an error message if this were a letter if this were a symbol. And what we want is to not have the error message. So imagine if you had lots of rows of data, you wouldn't want to go in and manually delete out each faulty entry, right? So how can we quickly and easily clean this up? So you can come back into your formula and we're gonna we're going to do the if error function, okay? So let me spell it out here so you can see what if error looks like. If error, that's what the if error looks like. Okay. So you've already got your formula in here. You actually don't need to change it. All you need to do is add the if error around the formula. So you come back in and you start typing if error. Excel recognizes what you're typing in. So you can hit tab. So this first step is the value, so the formula you want. And the second step is value if error. So what do you want Excel to show if there's an error? I usually like Excel to just show a blank. And the way to show a blank in this formula is to put two quotes. And then you close it up and hit enter. So there's no error here, so you're not going to see a blank. Now, I, again, I copy this formula down, and there you go. Now, this becomes a blank, this becomes a blank, and therefore, I'm able to see my total sales for the day. You could come back into the if error formula and change this to a zero instead of just a blank, and I'm still able to get my sum. And there you have it. That's the if error formula. It really quickly and easily cleans up any messes in your data and allows you to have clean formulas and functions. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what other questions you've had, you have, what videos you'd like to see. Uh, leave comments, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see. Thank you.